Hello everyone, welcome back to my journalism of the Heart News Channel. The story for today is after 47 days in the harsh Queensland outback and one gruelling final challenge, Australian Survivor has crowned a new winner, with ex shash powerhouse Mark Wales unanimously awarded the title of Soul Survivor, and a cool $500,000 by the jury. Two men and two women remained in the game heading into the finale, Josh, Mark, Chrissy and Shay, and they battled it out in a tough final immunity challenge that pushed them all to their limits. The foursome all had to stand on a wooden platform leaning over a waterfall, hanging onto wooden blocks as they dangled precariously over the frightening drop. At regular intervals, they had to reach out further and further to hold onto lower runs. After the 90-minute mark, the contestants really started to suffer, and Chrissy was first to drop, followed by Josh. But this season's challenge beast Shay never seemed to break a sweat beating Mark and guaranteeing herself a spot in the final three, and for the first time in Australian Survivor history, three rather than two would get the chance to plead their cases to the jury. Josh seemed to be firming as a favourite to win, but he fell at the final hurdle, with his closest ally Chrissy turning on him by writing his name down and sending him to the jury. And speaking of the jury, it's always a little treat for Survivor viewers to see what the contestants look like once they've joined the jury and had a chance to wash weeks of grime and dirt off themselves. The newest member of the jury, KJ, who went home in Sunday's penultimate episode, didn't disappoint with this post-elimination glow-up. With Josh voted out, and with barely a goodbye to the three who ousted him, it was time for Mark, Chrissy and Shay to face the music. Mark went first, methodically laying out his moves, vote by vote, throughout the game, positioning himself as a tactical player. Shay spoke next, sharing her underdog story and reminding the jury of her incredible physical strength in the game. Chrissy was last, talking up her tactics as a social game player, someone who'd been to many tribal councils, but only ever copped a handful of votes throughout her 47 days in the game. And her social gameplay continued, as she heaped praise on the members of the jury, thanking them for all they'd taught her in the game. Then they faced a grilling from the jury, with Shay in particular facing a frosty reception when she was asked to rate her performance in the game and giving herself an 8. 5. Newly eliminated Josh slammed Chrissy for throwing him under the bus, demanding to know why she had voted him out, conveniently ignoring the fact that he voted for her at the same tribal council. As two-time player Nick Iodanza put it, Mark also faced some tough questions from the jury, several of whom he burned throughout the game. But they also clearly respected him. Mark got every single vote to win from the jury, which included wife Sam, a key ally in his corner. It marked the end of an incredible survivor story for Mark and Sam, who met on the show and fell for each other, getting voted out during their first season because of their obvious attachment to each other. Returning as a married couple with a young son, they dominated this season, and always viewed a Survivor win as a collective victory for both of them. They're now $500,000 richer thanks to that gameplay. Meanwhile, season favorite Jordi may have been voted out in the final stretch of the game, but he did end up with quite the consolation prize. He's now dating Sam Frost, sister to fellow Survivor contestant Alex, who dropped out of the game earlier this season due to injury. Alex was competing in the show with Sam's then-boyfriend Jay Bruno, but the pair split shortly after filming. That is all for today news, please make sure to leave your comment and subscribe the channel below for more news update. Thank you for watching.